Hi everyone, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you and you're watching on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. Today we're going to dive into what we need to know for this week. What does the energy look like? What messages is the angels have for you and I, I want to apologize to you guys well I don't even know if I, it's it's an apology but I do want to acknowledge the fact that I haven't done an energy video uh, this is it, it's this would have been the if I didn't do it this week it would have been the third week because I just needed I needed the time to be honest I needed to bring my energy back and this is something that I really encouraged for other people. It has been so busy here. Uh, and, and I'm so grateful for that. It's been so busy. And, um, I really haven't had a whole lot of time even to feel out the energy in a lot of ways. It's been so busy. So, um, yeah, I took a couple of weeks off. This is something that I always encourage you guys to do is to follow your flow. And when you're needing to pull back a little bit to refresh your energy that you do that. So, um, I'm happy to be back though. Um, uh, make sure you say hi if you're watching live or if you're watching on the replay play. So we're going to talk about this energy. It, it's funny because somebody asked me earlier today if, if we are in retrograde right now and we're, we're not, but, um, it's funny because a lot of times when I'm using all the re words, um, like I have in this title, a time to refocus, a time to redirect. Um, a lot of times we are in a retrograde, right? But, um, that's, that's not where we're at right now. I think we actually have a lot of forward moving energy, right? But um, one thing I noticed with the monthly readings that I did over on my YouTube channel, which if you didn't catch yours, make sure you swing by there and, and get yours. But one thing I noticed is that a lot of people are feeling, um, there is a universal theme of feeling pressured, for certain things to move forward. It's almost like we feel ourselves preparing for something. And I think as a collective, we really are preparing for something. And, and um, you know, in our own personal lives, we're preparing for some big stuff. And so I think that we feel the pressure of that and, and we feel all of this forward moving energy where it's like, take action and um, do the things and, and, and all of that stuff. So I think that we're feeling that pressure. And so it might feel kind of stuck I actually think that things are moving forward, um, but we're maybe they're not maybe moving forward at the pace that we would prefer them to. So we really have to pull back and, and trust in that divine timing um, and, and trust that things are going to manifest as they should in the right timing. And so your job right now is just to continue to take inspired actions as you feel inspired. I feel like the other part of this though is is in finding balance. So that was what I was I was trying to do for myself in taking off from the videos was to find a balance and and to just kind of be able to take the space to go within again and um that was what I was feeling like I was needing. And and that's really a question for all of you is what am I needing right now? What is it? Because I, I think we all kind of have this like feeling like there's something that I need, but I'm not quite sure what. And what I would have you do is I would have you put that out to your angels. I would have you say that out loud or think that in your mind and invite your angels to give you that guidance as to what it is that you're needing right now and then follow through with it. Then take action with that because that's that's going to be a really important piece of this. So uh, and um awareness of what you need to balance and and taking action on providing yourself with balance is also really important right now. Um I I see this as a, a really big time like I I think we're feeling like we have questions coming up. Right? We're starting to explore. Okay. Am I moving in the direction that I want to be moving on? And I, and I think a lot of us are have just a lot of questions and we're exploring ideas and we're we're trying things on for size and and we're trying to um, follow the flow of these intuitive prompts that are coming through or the answers that are coming through. But I think that there's a lot of questions right now. And the whole point of that is to help us to redirect, refocus, 
um, shift our awareness to making sure that we are still on the path that, that we want to be on. Because I think like it's really easy for us to like step off path and get distracted or get caught up in stuff that doesn't really matter or um, whatever it is that, that we've been doing, but it, it can pull us off that path. And I, I think we're getting this nudge to push us back on a path. We're getting this nudge to take steps in the direction of getting back onto our best life path. So ask yourself if you feel like you've step, stepped off. Ask yourself how you feel like you've stepped off and, and what it is that you need to be doing. Part of my process, part of what, where, you know, when I, I didn't do videos and stuff, part of that has also been that I just took a little space even to like not meditate quite so much or not follow as much of a structure that normally I find a lot of comfort in, a lot of balance in. And, and now I'm really stepping back into that because I know that that's really helpful for me. But I just need a little bit of a break, you know? And sometimes we do. So where do we need to refocus? Where do we need to bring ourselves back to what's helpful? Or what changes do we need to be making that are going to allow us to get on our best life path without the distractions and without the things that um, we know don't serve us. So I think you're gonna be asking yourself a lot of questions. I think you're gonna be exploring a lot of things. I think um, really exploring what things are in alignment with your best life. And so if you feel like you're spending a lot of time processing these things, I I think it's really purposeful. I feel like it's, it's for this purpose of helping us to be on our most purposeful path and, and living our most purposeful life. And so even the conflicts, even the stressors that are showing up are, are purposeful and are connected to this, are, are trying to, to show us the way, are trying to help us. But I do want to say one of the things that I wrote down when I was meditating on this was be careful not to dwell on the past. It does feel kind of retrograde, doesn't it? Because like there is that energy as well. So try not to dwell too much on the past or get caught up on the past or uh, romanticize the past in, in, in any way or um, get too caught up on if I had done this differently, my life would be this. Because that's not the point of all of this questioning that's happening. That's not what is needing to happen and that's really going to take you down a rabbit hole that isn't helpful to you okay so don't dwell on the past if you need to take a look back at something to pull insights from it to learn from it that's a really different thing but we don't want to spend a lot of time dwelling on the past we really want to be focusing on the now and where am i at now and what do i want now and where do i want to go with things right and um that's really important that I'm talking about where do you want to go with things, okay? Because we can get very caught up in what other people want from us or what we feel obligated to do. And I just don't think that's going to work for us this week. I think there's going to be a lot of like discomfort in that if we are doing things for other people this week um, or, or, or moving forward, period, right? So it, it's really about what is it that you want and what is what feels most in alignment for you. I feel like um, another word that I wrote down was choices. I, I think that there's, that we have some choices to make. We have, you know, what direction do I want to go in? And you don't have to feel any particular pressure to make a choice this week, you know, but I, I think that you're going to be exploring what do I really want? What's more in alignment with my priorities and, and what I really want for my life and, and making choices from that place. So we might not be making choices right now, um, or we might if we gain a lot of clarity through the questions that we're asking ourselves, but we are going to be really working in the direction of making some big decisions for our lives and some choices for our lives. Um, the other thing that I wrote down was challenging truths. Okay, so part of what is helping to redirect us, part of what's helping to guide us um, and show us the way is actually challenging truths. So these are things that you either are admitting to yourself, you know, that you're finally acknowledging to yourself where maybe like you've been bullshitting yourself a little bit or um, that you haven't quite been ready to see or um, 
you know, this may be a truth that someone brings to you that is really difficult to process or, or, or accept, but it is the truth. At the end of the day, it is the truth. And so paying attention to that. This reminds me of like that page of swords energy where it's like, you may not like the message or the person that delivered the message, but the message is still the truth and you still have to honor the truth. And I think a lot of this is about honestly our truth within ourselves and, and just being really honest with ourselves about what we really want and what is working, what isn't working and, and where we need to go with things. Um, and, and where have I wandered off my path? Um, the, the, the last thing that, that I, that came through for me when I was connecting with this energy is just like this reevaluation, again, a reevaluation, right? Uh, with, with our relationship with ourselves. And so I think that there really is potential for a deepening of a connection with ourselves, a deepening of a, a understanding of ourselves if we allow this process. And so we may not feel wildly social right now. Uh, we may not feel like, we want to do all of the things, or we might, because that might be part of your process. But um, you may find that you're wanting to spend a lot of time with yourself to just sort of allow this process to happen and to get to know yourself. Because I feel like it's like we're peeling away the new a new layer of the onion here, right? And we're getting to know ourselves on a deeper level. So that is the purpose for all the questions. That is the purpose if you're spending a lot of time in your head or feeling really confused. The clarity will come, but let the questions sort of be explored. Meditate on it. Think about it. You don't have to like live in the questions. You don't have to obsess about the questions, but you can kind of let them float around in your mind. That's where I find I get the best answers is when I throw a question out there and I don't expect an immediate response. And so sometimes, oftentimes what I'll do is I will send my question out to the angels and then when my guard is down, when I'm not even thinking about that question, I notice that answers will come through. I'll notice I'm either being guided through signs and synchronicities or I have a, just a, a sense of what that answer is or a vision of what that answer is or I actually hear that answer. So we all experience that differently, but I find if you throw the question up and you just allow the answers to come to you, they will. So let yourself ask questions this week. Let yourself explore. Let yourself decide what you need to be refocusing on and and take those actions in that direction. So those are your messages for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, make sure you check out your monthly angel, angel reading for the month of April on my YouTube channel. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care guys.